is a selected measure is an information function that lets you check inside the calculation item what is the, the currently selected measure. So it basically checks if the selected measure is among the list of measures that you provide as arguments. And this is useful in order to selectively change the behavior of a calculation item depending on the measure that the user added to the report. Let's see that with an example. In this model, I have created a calculation group time calc that computes the current value, the previous year, the growth, and the growth in percentage. Now, some of these calculations make sense for some measures, but not all the combinations are valuable. In the report, I'm showing the sales amount, the total quantity, and the percentage over all products for 2009. This is the current value. If I select the previous year, you see that all the calculations are computed using no longer 2009, but now 2008. The problem appears with growth, because it makes sense to compare the sales amount against the sales amount of the previous year and compute the difference between the two values. The same for the quantity, but not for the percentage over all the products, because this is the division of this number by that number. So if the user selects growth or growth in percentage, I do not want to apply the calculation item to this calculation, and I want to either blank out the measure or produce a different calculation. This is what I'm doing here. If I select growth, you see that the sales amount and total quantity show a value, whereas percentage over all product does not. And the same if I show the growth in percentage. Percentage over all product does not have a growth in percentage. Let's see how this is done using is selected measure. This is the code of the growth calculation item that as first operation checks if the selected measure is not percentage over all products. If this is not the case, then it goes on and computes the value in the current year, in the previous year, and computes the difference as uh, the growth. But if the selected measure is a percentage over all products, then it just returns a blank. If instead of returning a blank, you want to return another value, it's just enough to add to the else branch whatever calculation you need. Is a selected measure requires you to provide a list of uh, uh, measure names. And this is useful because if you later rename the measure, then the DAX engine will automatically form, automatically uh, correct all the references to the old measure with the new name in a simpler way.